Good morning, tubers. Today, I'm replacing this. I'm gonna build the exact same setup uh, that they have at Spring Hill, uh, Wayne has over there. Um, I bought everything to do that. Well, it's not exactly the same. Uh, the one I'm building is gonna be a little bigger, I think. Uh, mine's gonna be 48 by, well, it's gonna be four foot by eight foot. And, uh, but I'm only, only gonna have the five trays. So anyway, I gotta clean this up. I just wanted to show you what this mess looked like first. Um, and then I'm gonna start building. All right, got it all cleaned out. And I'm getting ready to start putting her together. David and Daniel, this time I pulled all the u nulls without you. Still have a uh, problem with that light fixture there. The other ones are all working, but there are only two bulbs in each one right now, and there will be four, so that's going to be pretty bright. As part of my learning curve for this system, this leafy greens lettuce growing machine, because this thing really does an incredible job. I mean, look at this stuff. That kale, that celery, cabbage, 
Um, this is romaine and I got some chard here. One of the things you have to know is that when these things start growing to this size, it can cause some problems. And what it causes the problem, where it causes the problems is in here. The root systems in these things can get out of hand really quick, I guess. And uh, when they get big on the outside, on the top, you can only just imagine what's going on inside here. Now, you can see down in there, I've already taken the big ones out, but these root systems are crazy. I had to pull this and I threw the root system away. Well, let me show you. This is what was down inside there. It completely blocked off the flow and it all backed up out of the back and it made a mess down here. So you got to be careful with the plants when they start to get really big in these, well, just in the downspouts. I don't know about what Wayne has with the, the real deal, whether he has that problem. Um, but if the root system gets too thick in there, it will back the nutrient solution out of that channel. Other thing, when they get really heavy, if they go lean one way or another, it'll tip. So you gotta be careful, make sure it's all balanced out. I may be putting, I may just uh, take some PVC tubing, maybe some quarter, half inch or three quarter inch tubing and uh, some pipe glue, PVC glue, and glue it underneath the here to kind of stabilize it as I go down. We'll look at that. That shouldn't hurt anything when I'm lifting those channels out to harvest. And that's how I do that for those of you who um, have asked. You just lift the entire row out of here, carry it, take the whole channel and all, over to an area like this and harvest it from there now on kale we just break off pieces of it and it breaks off really easy and uh, we carry that in but the rest of it a lot of it is whole head um, the arugula we do the same way as this you just take pieces of it off um, but yeah anybody want some kale I'm um, some chard we have to find something to do with this. Look at the size of that thing. That's amazing. I hated to do that to it. Alright, what I did is I used a one inch hole saw bit. You got two spots there. I'm just using one of them. And I'm drilling straight into it. I'm going to keep it as perpendicular as possible. Then you just take that, push it down in there with the seal on the inside. It's hard to do one-handed. Get it good and snug. And that should do the trick. I don't even know if you need that. I probably won't use it. Anyway, I gotta finish the rest of these. I have room to expand it, another three. I can put three more down here and have a total of eight trays. Um, but um, I'm gonna drip them. I still run. I'm gonna have to clean out a few holes down here where there's not really good flow, but it is running into the uh, drain and 
recycling. So I would say success. Got seeds up in the heat on the heat mat. I do have to add bulbs because there's only two in each of these. Uh, but you'll see how bright that'll get once I do. God bless. Go plant some dirt, some nutrient solution, or some fish water, and grow something. We'll see you next time. Take care.